September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Hi. Did you miss me, my lovely lost tales? <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. It's good to be back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my soothing Sunday stream as we play Faith, the Unholy Trinity. I hope you've all been behaving yourselves as best you can this past year. <laughs> and yes, uh, moderators, if you could make sure that everyone forms an orderly line uh, to the confessional booth, that would be lovely. Thank you. Um, I hope you've all been doing well. I mean that from the depths of my little black heart. Um, just a heads up. We're probably just going to be playing the first two chapters of this game tonight and then save the third for next Sunday because you don't want to finish this too quickly, do you? You want to take your time with this game and really appreciate it. But thank you so much for the stretch, Hayden. There we go. I hope you're all doing well tonight. Now then, shall we begin? So, I think we'll just be focusing on chapter 1 and chapter 2 tonight, and we'll see how things go. And then we'll save chapter 3 for next week, shall we? Because it'll be the night right before Halloween, and I can't think of a better time to play this game, to be honest. Hayden, thank you so very much for the 33 month subscription. 33 months already, only three shy of full three years now, and I appreciate your support for every single one of them. Thank you so very much, Hayden. Thank you. All right, settle in and relax. I will just give you a quick heads up because I do want you to take care of yourselves. Um, this game does include um, jump scares in the form of audio stuff and sometimes flashing images on screen so if you are sensitive to that sort of stimuli just take care of yourselves if you need to step away it's totally fine I just want you to take care of yourselves all right now then shall we begin Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Good to know. I have been waiting for this game to come out for so, so long. So to finally be able to play this with, especially with all of you guys, is amazing. <laughs> oh, poor thing. I think he just wanted hugs. It's locked. 
All right, let's go find a key for that then. Oh, Salva Holder, you're in for a treat with this game in that case. If you like 8-bit horror, and this is just chef's kiss perfection. Oh, Sam, you're too kind. Thank you. I do like putting a bit of extra effort in whenever I make an appearance. Hmm. Let me just reorientate myself again. Because that doesn't seem to be anywhere where the key might be. Thank you so much. The Seraph of Stories does have a way with words, doesn't she? But no, endings are very difficult to write, and I think she wanted one that was both heartwarming and wonderful because there was so much build up to it, and was a satisfying conclusion to a story that meant a lot to a great many people. Oh, you're too kind, chat. Thank you. Alright, there we go. There's the car. Chat, you're too kind. Thank you. Hmm, that little scamp seems to be getting more and more ambitious. well from before. I was thinking of that, but at the same time, Monster Camp felt like a very appropriate pick for um, the Friday streams, because it's a good level of spice. And, I mean, it's Sunday. It's a holy day. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow, Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allard, uh, Alred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off uh, to the right of the path. Father Alred explained that he would rather uh, perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. 
He, compli he complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the rite that may seem harsh to the layperson. There's no sneaking up on me. Oh, Terius, thank you. And yes, absolutely, endings are very, very difficult. So I hope I did it justice. somewhere around here. Hmm. Might be good to head back to the road and reorientate ourselves a little. Oh, poor dear. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to, the home to his home immediately. Him and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their house to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany them back to Rome from Cardinal Clifford. Now, as the beginning said, this exorcism was not authorized by the Vatican. Oh, Chef, you're in for a treat then. This game does 8-bit graphics masterfully. I'm just going to steer clear of that a little. Oh, thank you so much, Blitz King. Martin greeted us to the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt guilty for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind you, of look you, uh, it was not the kind of look a child gives you. Why did the music stop? Okay, let's just keep going. I see that strangeness lurking behind me. That would be the basement then. Hmm.
Well, hello there. You must be Amy. I've heard such wonderful things about you. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like I, when, I was, when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of uh, deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Let's give that another try, shall we? Amy? Where are you, sweetie? We need to have a little chat. You're not in trouble. Come on. I think I just need to get in the right direction or pick the one out of the four that's the right one and then she seems to go away for now. For now. Yes, and she is angry with me. And I'll just collect that. We should go upstairs and finish looking around. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything up in upstairs. Let's head downstairs. Because I can't seem to enter through here. I must need a key of some kind. It might be good to then go back upstairs because I think there was one or two other things I might need to do. Um, let's just go continue clearing up downstairs first. Alright, I have a feeling I know which door that might be. J just a hunch. Oh, children are so creative, aren't they? Can't go outside just yet.
Anything in the TV that's possessed? No, no, no. Well, I don't seem to be having a shadow at my back at the moment, so that's good. Ah, yes, that would be the attic room, I assume. Let's just do a quick check everywhere else, just to make sure that there isn't anything else down here that needs to be cleansed of evil. Bob must be uh, stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask uh, Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be uh, from over there. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Hmm. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because we're afraid of what is out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm waking, walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only got worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day. And now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob, com Bob comes home tomorrow. And hi, Scarlet. How are you doing tonight? To the attic we go. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my, she, my superior, father... With when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Mm. Amy, we just want to talk. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Mm. More this. Let's give that another try, shall we? My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. The Lube, thank you so much for the 21 month resub. Hi Reverend, it's been a while. Thank you so much for the support, and yes, it has been a while. Hmm. Mortis. Now, do I keep moving around her, My focusing God, on her? What happened to you? Or do, do I take care of them? I have to finish what I started.
Hmm. So close. Mortis. Well, at least it saves from this point and I don't have to do that first part again. Damn it. Mortis. Need to get a little bit faster at that. Getting it either in time or I need to move out of her path. Let's give this another try. Okay, next time let's try moving out of her path and see if she follows. Okay, that seems to work. Come on, come on. Damn it. Mortis. Wasn't fast that time, but now at least now I know what to do. have to remember the direction that I exercise her from is the direction that she runs in. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Come on, Amy, we can do this. So, because I've never taken shit from any demons and I'm sure as hell not going to start now. That one was close. Come on. Amy, come on. There we go. Come on. Amy, we're almost there. Let's give that another try. Mortis. <laughs> mm. 
I need to get better at this part. Don't worry, we'll get better at it. Trial and error and all that. Amy, you're making this really difficult. She does seem to follow the pentagram until she gets to a point. Ah. Mortis. Mm. Mortis. What am I doing wrong there? Come on. I need to get out of the way that time. Mortis. Mortis. What am I not doing right with this? Am I supposed to be following the markings on the ground? Because she follows the pentagram and then... Let's just watch for a second. If it'll let me. Okay, I think I've only got like a little bit of time to do like a quick fire bit of damage and then she moves again, I think. And I have to get out of the path of the symbols, okay. Let's give this a try. At least the reload is very, very quick. Oh. Didn't get out of the way in time. Mortis. Come on. Okay. Mortis. I th I think I might know what I'm doing now. Let's give this another try.
bit too close there. There we go. Almost there. I messed that up. But we are getting there. Little by little. Come on. That was four times, god damn it. Boy, Amy please. snuck up on me. Four times, I forgot that. Mortis. Come on. Almost got there. Amy, we've almost got this thing out of you. Yes! Amy! I'm proud of you. Everything's fine. We just need to check that Amy's okay. Amy?
a dog with one bullet. And I just used that bullet. I fucked up, I think. Oh well, I'll just die and then I'll come back. Oh look, wonderful, it's back again. A dog with one bullet. I think I'm going to just go. Because Amy, we I think we got the demon out of her, but um, where's that uh spooky guy uh, that was crawling all over the place? Let's 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 save that for him. Is my car still there? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go in my car and I will leave. I will say of the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night. Over the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Ending 5 of 5 when faith endures. Because yes, there are multiple endings to this game. Police, animal experts investigate Chubacabra, remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD, in enlisting the help of the local animal experts from University of Connecticut, after the remains uh, of an unidentified animal, they found this, were found near Sterling. The remains of the animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say that in, uh, they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some, were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what, we're, what exactly we're dealing with here, said the Sterling, uh, a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owner or an animal with rabies, we need to know more about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they, can, uh, they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, uh, a vitamin D deficiency that appeared in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Oh, nice! All right, and I think with that, we move on to chapter two. Because yeah, there are multiple endings to this game, but honestly, I'm happy with that ending. The priest lived and all that. So I'm happy to move on to chapter two if you are, and then I can save um, uh, the other, other endings for when you want to explore it. So quick stretch time. Ooh. That's better. Quick victory sip. Alright, chapter two.
Because yeah, chapter one is the shortest. It's roughly maybe only about 45 minutes for most players. Um, uh, but we were slightly closer to an hour. And chapter two, I think, is about an hour and a half or so. A bit under or an hour and a half. But we're just taking it at its own pace. And we'll see how things go. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check, Gurgish. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany them, him back to Rome. F Cardinal Gr uh, Gifford. Oh, it's all good, Rose, and you take care, okay? Okay, we seem to be a different priest this time because we're in black and the other priest was in blue. Can I pick up my copy of the Bible? Day one, or one day. Oh, that, kid, that poor kid's not doing so well. Oh. Huh. Are we going to find out what happened to that, um creature we killed in the last game. Mmm. Mmm. I'm intrigued. How are we doing today, my dude? I like the time. You got to go back till you get better, my dude. And I see mommy and daddy. I need to make you better first. Let's see what you pick on me. Thank you. Review to the people. Alright, jumping straight into the horror right away. Oh. Where are the lights? Oh dear. Hey, I know you didn't like being chained up in the basement, but um, hi. Dios mio, what have you done? I have somebody as a pig. You can hide from God, evil. You shall bring the wrath of the Almighty. Alright, so this looks to be a prequel to chapter one, methinks. Perhaps? It's 2 a.m. Oh! And we're back to the original priest from the first game. Interesting. Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing the escape key or the start button is a good way to remember what you don't realize you've forgotten. notes okay okay so i can consult my notes afterwards options quit exit resume oh no what's the deer running from oh no no oh oh that's um that's that's not good Notice, the current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, uh, the surrounding woods, any wildlife and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Oh, that poor dear. Well, that's not ominous. No, not at all. Not at all. This is fine. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check, Sam. Thank you.
Oh. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first con conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessings of the unspeakable. Return to the safe family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. Enter the spirit house. Uh, none of you are looking very well. This is fine. This is fine, everything's fine. Please don't attack me. Please? Okay. So that seems to be where we save the game? Let's go up first. Gigosh, thank you so much for the seven month Prime subscription. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hmm. All right, we seem to get a little bit lost there, so maybe not quite yet. Where is it? Where is it? Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, wouldn't you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there. Only, it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Where, where are all the heads? This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. All right, nothing's changed there. Let's head over to the right side then. Let's just have a quick glance if that changed anything. Okay, so we have three. Ooh, one of the lights went out, so four souls or four demons to cleanse. Uh, let's go up next. Okay, that must be what the uh, the key that we're looking for, or the key that was shown to us in the mirror. Oh, thank you. Hmm. I think I already did those hydrate and stretch checks, but I'll do them again anyway. It's always good to do. Need to take care of my bones. Thank you so much for the four month, uh, 44 month resub. Thank you. 
Yeah, 44 my, uh, Prime subscription. Thank you so much, Kimikun. I really appreciate it. And guys, we have a hype train just around the corner. So if you want to renew your subs, now is a perfect time to do it. It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to the end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA, and more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969 in Volonton. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at the Tillinghouse Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter, Amy, and their boys, Nate and Jason. Amy, I hope you're doing okay. Are we going to see you again? I kind of have a feeling we might. Hi. I should probably move out of the way this time. Let's give that another try. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Okay, yeah, it, it seems to be some kind of strange umbilical cord sort of thing. Okay. Let's have a quick glance in here. Yes, one more. Let's try that misty area again.
strange. Let's give up here another look. Just in case the last of these lovely spirits decided to go for a little bit of a run through the woods. Or not. Alright, there has to be something about the misty paths, like maybe a specific order you go in? Let's try and see if you have any answers. Hmm. At least to save the game for me, so that's good. Mm. Let's try going this way first. Nothing here seems to react to my crucifix. Hmm. Any suggestions, chat? Because I don't seem to be able to interact with anything here. I assume this is like a, a bench of some kind or a crypt. But yeah, I assume there's some kind of pattern to this. Or an order in which I have to go like left, right, right, left or something like that. Hmm. But from what I can remember, I haven't received any hints about that. Like I was thinking maybe these were an indicator, like this one's just starting to go to the right. Okay, what if it's right, up, left, down? Let's give that a try. Okay, it was... It was because it was pointing this way, so right... Box Puppy, how's it going? Welcome back. Left down. No, this doesn't feel that didn't feel right. I might need to cheat and see how that one sold, because I got nothing. Like I am open to suggestions chat. Um for what the solution for that might be. Hayden, would you be able to help me? Do you have some ideas? Alright, let's try this again. Because yeah, it's the statues, isn't it? So go right. Then up. It is the statues, isn't it? And then up. Please be right. Please be right. There we go. God, that made me jump a little.
until I ice cube first. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more gettings laughed and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By, uh, by day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five, first to the top left point and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. There's a top left point and then down. Have to remember that because I have a feeling we're going to be encountering those rocks, maybe. Oh, hi, statue. You're not looking so good. Hi. Do you have that key for me? Mmm. Ow. Did you. Did you just stab me in the eye with the key? Thanks. Thanks, appreciate it. Everything's fine. This is fine. Everything's great and wonderful and fine. Let's quickly check those headstones. Nope. Maybe that's what got the got the deer. But now we can't trust the trees. Oh no. It's one of you, isn't it? I I can sense it. Which one of you is it? One of these things is not like the other. Mm. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. Mm. Is there anything else? Just a quick glance on either side, just to see if there's anything else. Good exercise, it. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before, evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was a, uh, there was a spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it was to do with the summoning of a spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they, uh, they told us. Walk the church room to, uh, walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome, we're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. I wonder how that worked out for them. I have a feeling it did not end well. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Last stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. What's coming to confess their sins? Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeds have you yet to confess? I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, 
Mother reached out to me again. But in the end, I could save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for these and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of the adoration. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Hmm. What was on the other side? Always on the other side. Mm -hmm. Let's continue, shall we? Actually, I'm going to check those crosses to see if any of them have any lingering spirits okay this looks to be the chapel That looked familiar. So, a quick look at the others. Hmm. Someone hasn't been taking care of this church. Night two, we're going to be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're going to make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. How exactly did that work out for you? Not well, I imagine. Let's give that another try. All the way back here, fine. It's not too far to walk, I guess. Robueno, thank you so much for the Prime subscription! And I think it's your first time joining us tonight. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Okay, let's not forget that. Just in case that's what activates the demon. Come on. Watch the candles. Good to know. Okay. Because they do seem to be in some kind of particular order. Found you a couple months back and I love the sound of your voice. Glad to be here. Well, thank you so much for joining us and for your support. Hmm. Why isn't the demon appearing? What's wrong? Let me try that again. Mm. Mm. 
because I have a feeling I need to get down there. But it doesn't feel like letting me. Did exercise that right? Hmm. Why don't we head outside and see what's up with the cornfield around the back? I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs, the children, the thing that took them. It could it had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody, gaping hole. Well, let's go run around in the cornfield and see if we can find it. I will help you if you step out to reveal yourself. I turn my back. Is it going to appear? Maybe not. Let's go back to the church and give that demon another try. And I might need the hints. Is there something to do with the candles? Uh, hint, yes. Just like to make sure I'm like, I'm not missing anything. Watcher Rick, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales and you're welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Okay. Good to know. Still not sure how to get it out. Because I have a feeling I need to get down there. Okay. Okay, I, I get it. Thank you, Hayden, for the hint, because I was a little confused. Ow. 
Thank you for the subscription, Watcher Rick. Much appreciated. Okay, let's give that another try. <laughs> oh, but thank you so much, Watcher Rick. Especially it's your first time joining us tonight. Thank you. Try. Come on. Come on. Okay, got that. The demon should still be here though. There it is. Ow. Amateur mistake, that's on me. Sorry, I didn't put it together. Rick. Oh, but thank you so much. Got that. More is. There we are. And then when it gets all buggy and pixelated then it's somewhere close by there you are Come on, come on. More this. Okay, but at least we're in the same room now. So there's that. Where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Push this flush. I think the demon is saying, curse this flesh. But in its own strange 148-bit way. we go. Let's see if that opened up the basement, shall we? There we go. Darkness around the pee. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the God's book of the good book. I now descend to the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past two. 
God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of that demon. That's not unnerving at all. Ow. More this. Okay. Note to self. Try to move around without stepping on the symbols. See if that affects it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So it's a very specific order I have to walk in. Okay. I see you. There we go. Mother of demons. This is fine. Wait, am I back? Am I back in the old house? Or where the house was before? Hmm. Maybe? And yeah, it did look like a giant, very spooky, pixelated spider, didn't it? Oh god, that tree demon is still lurking around here somewhere, I'm sure of it. And apparently we did just climb out of an outhouse, because... Because we can, apparently. I think we might be back on the same uh, property as before. Because hmm. then if it means that there was a fast way to get from that, uh, like the old house from the first game, to the church where all this strange stuff was happening. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Hey hello, how's it going? Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. I hope you're having a good time with us. I'm just gonna do a quick little scan for demons. Alright, this seems to be another directional one. Oh, it's all good, Yellow! It's all good! We're just having a good time. We're currently playing Chapter 2 of Faith. Probably like two thirds of the way through, probably heading towards the end of the chapter. Okay, we're stuck in another loop, so how do I get out of it and get back to the house? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Now, from what I remember the note, it was the leftmost. And then it was like left and then down, so it was like an anti-clockwise direction. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings, Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night, and what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel uh, Nogales, and Troy Ingalls are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. That sounds like the three people we saw sitting at the church. Maybe. Uh, Yellow, is this a new game or an old one? 
it is brand new. Um, actually, the first chapter of Faith came out a couple of years ago. The second one came out a few years after that. But the third chapter and this whole like package, because um, they essentially um, put all the games together and then re-released it on Steam, that came out only uh, this past Friday. So this is brand, brand new. But the first two chapters have been out for a while. But we're probably only going to play the first two chapters tonight, and then we'll save the third one for uh, my Sunday stream next week. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Callop, uh, Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be rela uh, related. The arrangement of the bodies in the ritualistic patterns, as well as the writing on, of certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area uh, since 1986. The killings may, uh, may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. Ward had, been, uh, been impersonated a pre Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not, uh, to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales and Ingalls because after all, they were degenerates, devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like. Uh, that's what you would like them to, that was what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy, you put holes in their ruined, drug-addicted bodies, and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing their head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou cannot put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door, her hand is at thy throat. Yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium Ragan Satani, Vite Pandemonium Ragan Satani, Vite Pandemonium Ragan Satani, Vite Pandemonium Ragan Satani, Vite Pandemonium Grand 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 Satani, I'm here, John. <laughs> oh no. And hello, all my lovely viewers. I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. <laughs> Whether you're actively watching or you just prefer to lurk and listen to my lovely voice, it's all good. I just hope you're having a good time with us. John, you're not looking so good, by the way. Oh, no. Oh no, no, no. Well, if there's candy promised... Death awaits.
Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the, can as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels, where suspe was suspected murderer John Bauman, aka Candy Store Killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bauman was wounded in the exchange, but uh, effort and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Hmm. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been discovered from the drainage ditch uh, under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel, uh, known as uh, known in the area to be home to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the uh, indigent, have been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been discovered, uh, recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured uh, by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to the Joe Bauman, aka the Candy Store Killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. All right, let's keep an eye out for more of these skeletons. I did get you, right? Yeah, I did. Hey, I see you lurking back there. What you up to? Okay. When you I think it's when you sleep it don't move. When you see it, don't move. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to... Hi. I, it said not to move, so I'm not moving. Go away. Go away. Okay, it went away. Everything's fine. See, everything's fine, guys. Everything's fine. Can I look in here? Oh, I can. Wait, are there secrets behind here? Well, there might be secrets behind here. Or death. There might be death or secrets. Or a little bit of both. Ooh, a secret thing. This is as far as I'll go in to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a, month, twice a month they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big. Ow, stop it. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Hey, but at least, you know, surprise Easter egg death, so 
discovering so much in this game. And everything was fine. Okay, I think I need to go through those tunnels. This game has a really, really love crafting in a way, and I can't really put my finger on it. I think a big part of it is you the helplessness of it. Because even though you have agency and that you have powers to dispel the demons, you still feel like a tiny speck in a much bigger picture. Uh, Dork Souls. Um, it's a game called Faith, uh, spelt in all capitals. This particular edition I'm playing is Faith, uh, the Unholy Trinity. It just came out on Friday. Well, that's some spooky shit. When I was a boy, my nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. In those old tales, the people never e uh, were never strong enough to kill the monster, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it, keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil, one sacrifice per year, so that the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing here, uh, what we're dealing with, is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into its lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid, uh, with grid and ch uh, child runaways, they'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. You can have them. Uh, it can have them for all I care. Nobody wants them around, except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. Alright, so something's been down here, munching on, uh, people in society who have been dealt a really bad hand, or in a lot of difficulties, and then all of a sudden it's broken out? Maybe? Okay, so I don't think I want to go there. Do I get out then? I think I just need to leave. I'm not quite sure. Or do I need to defeat that guy who runs at you when you get to the other side of the tunnels? Hmm. Curious. God, all these maps are like a maze. I'm gonna see if I can just go back the way I came because I think I'm missing something, but I can't, I don't really know what yet. Because all these walls look to be solid and there doesn't seem to be a queue for like secret entrance or anything. I wonder, can I use my crucifix on like, as I tried using it on the wall, and I can't walk through the wall. Hmm. Hmm. And I can't keep walking. Okay. Hmm. Because I kind of don't want to go all the way back there if I'm just going to get shanked and die again. Because I tried using the crucifix on him, but that didn't seem to work. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just leave.
But it feels like if I'm if I try to leave, I'm I'm doing something wrong. Like I'm missing something. See, it feels like now I can't get back to the exit again. Yeah, I don't think there's an actual way out of the sewers. There's something else I'm missing, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Any suggestions, chat? Okay, so you can repel stabby friend with the crucifix. Okay. I think I just need to be quick enough. But, as we've seen before, that uh, can sometimes be a little bit hit and miss. But let's give that another try, shall we? But when I say I was excited for this game, do you guys now know or can tell why I was so excited for this game? Because I love retro horror games like this that just get the ambience just right. This is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Yes, we did that. I will bless your child. Okay. I, okay, I got him. And now I'm gonna go back the way I came. Honestly, thank you for that, Hayden, because otherwise I would have been zigzagging just forever. So thank you for that. <laughs> Something's gonna come out. I just know it. Something. Something's gonna come zooming up behind me. I, I could feel it. It's too quiet. It's too quiet. Okay. Here we go. This looks more promising. Okay, let's not go there yet. Um just just let's just give that a minute. Yellow, that is a very good question. I don't quite know. I think I might be it's might be implying that the priest we're playing as is was a victim of a cult and then came back. I'm sorry, God, please save me. Because they have the divine powers of a priest and that they can repel demons and stuff. But I don't know. Something still feels off. I don't want to go down there yet. Let's follow the trail of blood. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, is that a torch? Oh, this is great. Even more limited visibility. Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. It's just a whole bunch of bodies down here. Oh, and look, there's blood. Will you Ow. Let's give that another try. But great, I have even more limited visibility. Yay! Uh, don't know if someone already asked you this, but are you planning on playing Resident Evil 4 Remake uh, now that the trailer's dropped? Absolutely. Oh, that is absolutely on my list of games to stream. Will you Uh. Where is it? No, I can't see where you are. Where are you? There you are. Here I go. 
damn it! More this. More this. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, you guys. I'm just trying to perform an exorcism with even less visibility than usual. This is fine. Okay, I can do this though. Ah. Fuck! At least it reloads quickly and you just get right back into it right away. And it has regular save points as well, which I do appreciate. Have you tried turning off the demon and turning it back on again? Have we tried taking out the cartridge and just... And then everything's fine again. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Oh great, I hate this. Ooh, okay. I think I got it, but I can't be sure. Everything's fine. Everything's good and fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> now into the scary hole with eyes. Everything's fine. The demon was a metaphor the bit of, for the bit of dust on the cartridge. <laughs> I am coming. Everything is not fine. Well, good thing I can't read, so... Hey, guys. Uh... They hate the light. Good to know. Everything's fine. Okay. <sighs> More this. Let's give that another try. You're gonna enjoy chapter three. It's something similar but worse. Oh good! I'm glad I'm breaking this up a little bit then, so I can enjoy this game to its full terrifying capacity. Ah shit. More this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ah, 
Shit. Mortis. I think you just have to run enough. Yeah, I need to be a little bit speedier, but I think I also need to kind of exercise whatever this thing is at the top. So, because I can't get through the doorway, so I think I need to exercise whatever this thing is. Sound of that. Oh, the sound design of this game is absolutely incredible. Okay, so I need to do part, clear something with the pentagram, something with the child, and then something with one of the demons. Okay. Is there something around me? I can't tell. Everything is horrible. Something with the key. Good to know. I don't know where the key is supposed to go, though. So I think I have to either... Do something there, but I don't know where the key goes to. So go here. Yes. Hi. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Hmm. Hi, you doing okay? I will say both the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. Ah, that didn't go well. Whoops. Mortis. Let's give this another try, shall we? Or a couple more tries, more likely. I will say both the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. I shall behold the reward of the wicked, because I have made the Lord my refuge. There shall no evil befall me. Ah. Go away. I 
I wonder if like there's two different endings now, one where you manage to properly protect the priest during the ritual, or um, this one that we're probably going to get now because the uh, priest is fucking dead, and now I'm fucking dead. <sighs> More Let's give that another try. <laughs> Although, the rotoscoping animation I especially love because it's so unsettling and so cool. Where is she? Where is she? Damn it! More this. Please tell me you don't have to do that whole first bit over again. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I will say again, I really appreciate the saves points in this game. Because if I had to do that whole first section over again, I'd be pissed. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck! I need to move around more. More it is. More it is. Oh, Dreams Maker, I'm so sorry if I didn't do your stretch check and hydro checks earlier. Perfect time to do it now. I'm so sorry. I hope you're still here. Good, good, good. <laughs> I feel like death is part of the experience of this game, that's why the saves are so frequent. Absolutely. Like, it's of course like a little bit of a goddammit moment when you die, and it's a little annoying, but at the same time, like, seeing like the Mortis sign come up again, it's fun. This game is so great. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is she? What is? Oh, almost got me. It's from More that point, days. and I don't have to do that whole section with the flashlight again. Thank you. Ah, okay. I just have to not get in the way. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I feel like those games with the death game over stream is, uh, screen is almost as fun as the game itself. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Ah. 
I'm on. Trying to get out of the way. More of this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. At least I don't seem to need to protect the other priest anymore. Damn it! More of this. It's the same pattern as the first game. It's the same patterns that we used in the first game. I can do this, I can do this. It's just with added more bullshit into it. And this is fine. This is fine, this is fine. It's relaxing! I play video games to relax! Everything's fine! I'll get there. I will get there. Castlevania attack patterning having motherfucker. Can't you tell? I'm totally relaxed, you guys. Ah, he stopped now. I will say, at least I don't have to do this stage with the flashlight, More otherwise days. I would just be hurling my controller through the screen, I don't know. Come on. We need reinforcements for this. We need lamb. Well, um, maybe with the power of the lamb we can finally send this demon away. This demon is quite the troublemaker, aren't they? Like, they even killed me and my friend. More days. Hmm. Let's give that another try, okay? This game is a lot harder than Knuckle Bones. We'll get there. I know we can do it, guys. Come on, 
because practice makes perfect and we just need to show a little patience and if we keep trying... bad for our friend though and for me I mean so I'm trying very hard to get rid of this demon but they're really stubborn <laughs> get it. That does come to the end of that pick my voice, Sam, so thank you so much for requesting the lamb. That's such a precious bean, but not even the power of the red crown could help us. I think it's just a matter of just trying again and again until we eventually get it.
Oh, I think we did it. We did it, guys! See? Everything was fine. The morning breaks. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. The lamb's belief in you sp uh, spurred you to victory. Indeed it did. But we did it, guys. And victory is so very sweet. I'm not going in there. Yeah, best not to. Bleat <laughs> for victory. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malfas. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy from Father Garcia. Oh. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work it's with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. This time I must not fail. Malfas must be stopped. As the profane Sabbath draws closer, the workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest test of faith yet. God have mercy on my soul. All right. And that was ending one of chapter two. Go for it, please, the fame. Oh. New background's unlocked, new effect unlocked, new chapter mode unlocked. Good, good, good. All right. Yeah. So, I'm gonna save chapter three for next Sunday because next Sunday is right before Halloween and I think this is one of the perfect games to stream on that night, so. I think this is a good point to wrap things up for the night, guys. I know it's a very different sort of game, but honestly, I've been waiting for this game to come out for so long, and I'm so excited to play it with you guys. So I think we're going to wrap things up tonight, and just so you know, uh, next Friday is the release date of the DLC for Resident Evil Village. So. Even though I'm quite addicted to um, Monster Road Trip, we will be taking a short break from that so we can experience um, the new DLC for Resident Evil Village. And so essentially, we will be having both Friday and Sunday with me, the Reverend of Requiems, and I cannot wait to, uh, for you guys to join me. So, if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, Please consider following, we would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite, you're welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my other socials that are in the chat right now, including my YouTube for in, uh, my ASMR day, uh, sorry, for my ASMR videos, my Twitter for important updates and other fun things, uh, and my Instagram for lovely pictures. I took some lovely pictures in this outfit and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. But let us see who is currently streaming and we'll give them some love. You know what? My amazing friend, Autumn Ivy, is currently streaming. So let's go say hi to Autumn, give her a ton of love from the Blue Rose Respite. And I hope you all have a fantastic week ahead. And don't worry, it'll be Friday before you know it. And I will return for more wondrous things. So thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. And remember, Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, everyone.